Hey there, I'm Okwai, and today we're stepping into the second part of my series about my virtual reality app, Color in Color. In this episode, we're going to dive deep into the heart of how we can create a massive range of impossible color combinations. These combinations allow us to experience at a minimum about a billion new colors, and as we shall learn later, even a lot more. Impossible colors are like unexplored territories in our understanding of how we see color. By diving into this subject, we can stretch the limits of what we thought was possible. The use of technology, like virtual reality, is helping us push these limits even further, letting us experience things that we once thought we couldn't. Today's exploration centers around one key principle, impossible color combinations. This principle is the foundation of my virtual reality app Color in Color. It's the tool we'll use to open up our color perception to a whole new range of possibilities. If you're just joining us, I recommend going back to the start and watching the first video of this series. It will give you the background you need to fully understand and appreciate what we're going to cover today. You can find the link to the first video now linked in the upper right corner. Now that we've laid the groundwork, it's time to dive in. We're about to step into the fascinating world of impossible colors, exploring the process that allows us to experience a huge range of new impossible color combinations. Decoding the enigma of impossible colors. Let's start our exploration by understanding how our eyes see colors. Our eyes are equipped with three types of color receptors or cones, often referred to as the red, green and blue cones. This setup, known as trichromatic vision, gives us the ability to perceive a vast array of colors, from the beautiful hues of a sunset to the vibrant colors of a rainbow. However, just like everything else, our color perception also has its limits. We can see a wide variety of colors, but our vision stays within a certain range. There are colors, or rather color combinations, that metaphorically lie outside this range. And these are what I refer to as impossible color combinations in this video. Impossible color combinations are essentially color combinations that don't usually exist within the parameters of our natural visual capability. These colors are impossible in the sense that our eyes can't perceive them without a little help. And that's where special technology steps in. Through the use of specialized tools and technologies, we can tweak the way we perceive colors and experience these impossible color combinations. These tools allow us to push the boundaries of our natural color perception, letting us glimpse at a world of colors we wouldn't normally be able to see. Unlocking the perception of impossible color combinations. To understand our ability to perceive impossible color combinations, we need to dive into the inherent characteristics of our visual system. Theoretically, even those with dichromatic vision, having only two types of color detecting cones instead of the usual three, can perceive some impossible color combinations. For dichromats, the experience would primarily be limited to combinations of blue and yellow shades. However, the more varied the types of cones one possesses, known as color dimensionality, the broader the spectrum of impossible color combinations that can be created. It's essential to clarify that perceiving impossible colors doesn't mean we've somehow developed an additional type of cone or stretched our visual spectrum. Instead, think of it as a clever workaround, a kind of biological trick that lets us see colors beyond our usual spectrum under specific technologically assisted conditions. For example, one such method involves crossing your eyes to overlap two different colors. But crossing your eyes for this purpose might be a bit uncomfortable, especially for longer time periods. And that's where advancements like virtual reality headsets come into play. A VR headset allows us to bypass the need for eye crossing, as it can send each eye a different color input. Both screens in a VR headset can display the same image but in different colors, causing an overlap that effectively bypasses our standard color vision system. This process pushes our brain to blend these two colors in its post-processing stage. Adapting to perceive these impossible color combinations isn't always smooth sailing. At first, your brain may resist combining two different colors into a single color experience. It could result in visual artifacts like stripes or patches of both colors without blending them, or one eye may dominate the other, causing you to see only one color. These are just a few of the hurdles one might face. However, practice makes perfect. By continually exposing yourself to impossible color combinations, you'll eventually train your brain to interpret them more accurately. In essence, our ability to perceive impossible color combinations relies on understanding and creatively manipulating the inherent traits of our vision. Although initially challenging, with consistent exposure and technological aid, we can train our brains to comprehend these extraordinary color experiences. In this exploration of the impossible, we expand the horizons of our visual perception, pushing the boundaries of what we previously thought unimaginable. Crafting the illusion of impossible colors, a journey beyond our natural capabilities. Let's continue by once again acknowledging that impossible color combinations are not something our eyes naturally perceive. 
They are a product of our visual system being manipulated under particular conditions to see colors that ordinarily don't exist according to its rules. The primary method to achieve this is by utilizing a technique called binocular color combination, which revolves around the concept of breaking binocular redundancy. Our vision is binocular, meaning we use two eyes to perceive the world. This dual perspective provides us with depth perception and a wide field of view. Although the loss of one eye does disable perception and narrows the field of view, it doesn't affect the remaining eye's ability to see color and it doesn't change the overall brightness of our visual perception. We can exploit this redundancy of binocular vision by modifying the color perception of one eye while leaving the other untouched, allowing our brain to construct impossible color combinations that our eyes alone couldn't produce. In standard color vision, certain color pairs such as, for example, red and green, red and cyan, and blue and yellow can't be simultaneously perceived in a singular color experience. So under usual circumstances, regarding additive color mixing, we can't envision a reddish green without seeing a yellow or a yellowish blue without seeing a white. But here's where the crafty method of binocular rivalry comes in, tricking our visual system into making these paradoxical color combinations perceivable. With the right technology, this technique essentially enhances our color experiences beyond the regular trichromatic colors. In binocular rivalry, each eye is exposed to a different color stimulus. For instance, one eye may be viewing a red object, while the other sees the same object green. Instead of blending to form a single color, these two stimuli compete for dominance in our visual perception, leading to an initially unstable perception of an impossible color. Virtually a precursor of an impossible color experience like a true red-green, which is distinctly not yellow. Over time, as we become more adept at perceiving these impossible color combinations as a unified color experience, our overall impossible color perception improves. This skill can be learned, and it does require practice, unless you're among the fortunate few whose brains can naturally make sense of these color paradoxes. Especially with the use of tools like my color and color virtual reality app, we can accelerate and enhance this learning process. So there we have it. The crafting of impossible colors involves a blend of understanding our visual system's inherent characteristics, exploiting its redundancies, and training our brains to interpret unfamiliar color experiences. With these techniques, we're able to augment our color vision and step into a realm of visual perception that once seemed utterly impossible. Impossible color combinations, visualizing the impossible. Armed with a clear understanding of impossible color combinations and how they arise through some clever adjustments to our visual perception, let's dive even deeper. We'll now examine how these impossible colors can be visualized to help us intuitively grasp their nature. Consider a simple gradient from white to black. On the surface, it seems quite ordinary. However, with impossible color combinations, we can introduce new colors into this gradient that go beyond the usual white to black transition while also paradoxically staying within its bounds. We can implement colors like a blackish white, a dark grayish black, a light grayish white, and so on. Each of these color experiences is distinct and unique from every other perceivable color. Essentially, we can pair every single color on this white to black gradient with every other white to black color present. This results in an exponentially greater number of possible impossible color combinations. Given that a standard RGB screen allows us to differentiate between 256 monochromatic colors within this gradient, we could theoretically perceive 256 times 256 colors, which are roughly 65,000 distinct shades. Though we need to subtract recurring combinations, resulting in the more factual rough number of 32,000 distinct shades. The number 256 is significant as it reflects the 24-bit color depth of a standard RGB screen. A shift from 256 to roughly 32,000 shades of white and black might seem like much initially, but when you consider the initial simplicity of the gradient, it's an even more substantial and mind-blowing increase. What's fascinating is that this whole discussion has been based on a black and white gradient so far. We haven't even touched upon primary, secondary or tertiary colors yet. Once we include these, the number of possible and possible color combinations becomes almost incomprehensible. Something like a simultaneous white, black and red, yellow impossible gradient or magenta blue and red, green gradient will be possible, just to name very few possibilities. When every color can be mixed with every other color, the possibilities appear to be seemingly endless. A standard RGB screen can display around 16 million unique colors. If we extend our impossible color combination concept to this spectrum, we are talking about 16 million times 16 million color combinations. Now brace yourself for a staggering number we could potentially perceive about 100 trillion unique color experiences. And this number already excludes any recurring impossible color combinations. Think about this enormous augmentation. 
100 trillion new color experiences. That figure makes even functional tetrachromats, who can perceive around 100 million colors, appear utterly colorblind. Through this deeper understanding of impossible color combinations, we are venturing into a realm of visual perception far beyond at least my wildest dreams. To put this enormous number in perspective, if you were shown a new color spectrum non-stop each and every second, then each of these instances would display a new never-before-seen trichromatic color spectrum made up of entirely new colors you've never seen before. It would take about 100 plus days to cycle through about 8 million such color spectra. That's about 3 months worth of a full spectrum of entirely new color experiences each second. This also means that we can easily simulate tetrachromacy, pentachromacy as well as hexachromacy with this approach. And actually even more unique color experiences, because bright and dark colors can now be mixed. I can't even think of a way to visualize all of these new color experiences all at once, so high is this number. 100 trillion is so insanely large as a number that I find myself discovering new color experiences on a daily basis whenever I use color in color. And I imagine that this rate of discovery will continue for at least a few years, if not decades. Even thinking about this lets my head steam at 100 degrees Celsius and develop infinitely recurring fractal wrinkles. And it also makes my brain consume about 10 times its usual amount of calories. While this is said rather jokingly, it's true that the colors we'll see with color in color will be a lot more complex, and your brain therefore has to exert itself more in order to make sense of this increased amount of color experiences. The impossible color combinations in color in color. Theoretically, we've explored how we could perceive up to 100 trillion unique color experiences. However, the practical implementation of all these impossible color combinations poses some challenges. A standard RGB screen, for example, cannot display such a vast quantity of colors all at once. Also, most images are designed for trichromatic vision, meaning the more nuanced your color perception, or in the terms of color in color, the higher your color dimensionality settings, the more pixelated the images will appear. This pixelation is not a product or artifact of the color in color application incorrectly distorting images. Rather, it's a result of your enhanced ability to differentiate between pixels that previously appeared too similar for your brain to distinguish. Thus, both the resolution of your screen and the resolution of the image itself directly impact the quality of images viewed with a higher color dimensionality. My virtual reality application, Color in Color, provides a glimpse into the realm of impossible color combinations, despite not encompassing all possibilities, at least not all at once. That's also why my first video in this series on Color in Color is titled How to See a Billion More Colors, instead of the 100 trillion that are theoretically possible. But even this comparatively limited glimpse into the world of impossible colors, though I don't know the exact number, can lead to a vast array of new color experiences. Combining the color in color feature with the color in value feature allows for the exploration of color combinations with varying brightness levels. This leads to an even more extensive range of impossible color combinations. It's worth noting, however, that this combination of modes will result in a loss of color originality, meaning it will become difficult to discern the original colors of any object. But the breathtaking range of new colors resulting from this mode combination offsets this loss, presenting a vibrant and extensive palette of novel color experiences. My journey towards fully integrating all impossible color combinations into our limited trichromatic vision is ongoing and an ever-evolving process. Process. With time and continued algorithmic development and better shaders, I hope to find the most effective method for implementing all of the possible and possible color combinations. For now, Color in Color remains one of the best available tools for bringing us closer to the incredibly vast world of impossible colors, at least to my knowledge. Closing words, a future perspective on vision and impossible colors. Today, we went on an intriguing journey through the complex and fascinating realm of impossible colors. We've learned that the term impossible in this context is not absolute, but a testament to the immense potential of our visual perception when manipulated skillfully and artfully. Exploring the science behind these colors has been an enlightening journey, from the fundamentals of human color perception to the mechanisms that enable us to perceive impossible color combinations. We discovered that this fascinating phenomenon grounded in the concept of breaking binocular redundancy, can open up an entirely new spectrum of color experiences. We've also been introduced to applications like color and color that push the boundaries of what we can perceive. Despite the hurdles of implementing the full range of impossible colors, this tool already offers us an impressive glimpse into an expanded color universe. But this is only the beginning. As I look towards the future, I personally see immense potential of augmenting colors and our vision in general. 
Imagine, for example, the capabilities of being able to perceive polarization by using polarization lasers. Currently used to reduce glare and enhance contrast, they hold the key to further unlock our perception. If we manipulate polarization to enhance our perception of color, we might one day perceive an even richer, more vibrant world. Despite the challenges, the promise of such a technological future inspires me to continue exploring, experimenting and pushing the boundaries of our perception. With each step, we come closer to unlocking new realms of visual experiences, each iteration moving closer to making the seemingly impossible possible. So, stay tuned and subscribe in order to fetch new ways to experience life. I am Ukwai and I will show you how to reshape and enhance your sensory experiences, because it is nothing but our senses that connect us to this world. Thanks for watching.